It's um some time. Is running on treadmills bad? Obviously, because they're designed for sleeping. Nah. Oh. Treadmills were actually invented so that we don't need uh. to go out and we can jog as per our convenience. However, there are certain disadvantages of using a treadmill. Firstly, when we run on ground, we use our leg muscles to propel our body forward, thus allowing them to develop and strengthen. However, on a treadmill, as the propulsion belt does the work for us, it limits our muscle development. Secondly, as compared to treadmills, nature provides us uneven surfaces and turns, ah. allowing our leg muscles to learn and adapt, thus improving our muscle efficiency and lateral agility. Thirdly, most treadmills don't have a downward incline feature, hence the runners don't get the benefit of jogging down hills. Lastly, running on treadmills can be extremely boring as compared to running outdoors. In addition to this, running outdoors helps our body to get fresh air and make vitamin D, thus improving our ah. health. Is running bad for knees? That depends. On what? Whether I am being made to run. Oh, um, some. Hmm? Some people believe that running is bad for knees because it causes arthritis. However, a research states the opposite. Hmm. Really? Yes. <laughs> Volunteers were made to run for 30 minutes on a treadmill. Post-running, certain substances associated with arthritis were found less in the synovial fluid present in the knee and more in the blood. Thus, running might have squeezed these substances out of the knees, reducing the risk of arthritis. But yes, certain factors could cause trouble to the knees. Running on concrete surfaces can damage the cartilage and knee joints. The softer the surface, the more joint-friendly it is. Weight is another factor. Heavier the person, higher the risk of knee injuries. The right shoe choice is also important. And lastly, cartilage loss could happen with age, increasing the risk of knee injury. Hmm. Huh? Why do we stretch oh. in the morning? So that we can sleep for two more hours. <sighs> nah. <laughs> Wait, I'll explain. When we wake up in the morning, we yawn and stretch our arms oh. and legs. This coordinated yawning and stretching is referred to as panticulation. I thought it is referred to as calculation. <laughs> oh, huh? just listen. When we are asleep, <laughs> we don't perform any activities. Hence, our heart rate oh. becomes slow when the blood flow is decreased. Also, as many people lie in the same position for long hours, their muscles become stiff oh. and tight. Hmm. Thus, a good stretch in the morning awakens oh. our body. It brings our heart rate back to normal, improving the blood flow to various body parts. Stretching also loosens and realigns our stiff muscles, making them more flexible oh. and ready for the day ahead. <laughs> Why do some people sweat more than others? Because they like the smell of their sweat. Oh, gross. No. Sweating or perspiration is a very essential process. Sweat absorbs heat from our body and evaporates, oh. thus helping us regulate our body oh. temperature. Now, during exceptional situations, such as on a hot day or while exercising, it is okay to sweat more than usual. But some people keep on sweating even under normal conditions. Such excessive sweating is the result oh. of a condition called hyperhidrosis. In this condition, the sweat glands overreact and produce more sweat than necessary. Besides this, caffeine and coffee and nicotine and cigarettes also make us sweat more. Hmm. In addition to this, men tend to sweat more than women. 